What if I told you that Sony might be preparing to disrupt its own cinema camera lineup in a way that doesn't even make traditional business sense? That's exactly what the latest leaks are suggesting about the upcoming Sony FX32, sometimes referred to as the FX32 in early development documents. According to multiple insider whispers, this isn't just going to be a routine upgrade, it's shaping up to be a complete market disruptor with specifications so ambitious that they could potentially overshadow the FX6 and even parts of the FX9 lineup. The rumors are heating up around a late 2025 announcement window, with shipping projected for either the end of that year or early 2026. If true, Sony may be on the verge of delivering a cinema camera that doesn't simply compete, it could flip the entire segment on its head. To understand why these leaks matter so much, let's step back for a moment. The original Sony FX3 was launched as a compact, cinema-focused camera built on the bones of Sony's mirrorless technology. Its boxy design, small size, and handheld friendliness made it incredibly popular among independent filmmakers, documentary shooters, and run-and-gun creators who wanted full-frame cinematic power in a small, travel-ready package. But it wasn't perfect. While the FX3 delivered stunning image quality, its biggest weakness was thermal management. Long recording sessions, especially in higher resolutions, could lead to overheating issues, making it less reliable for extended professional use compared to its larger siblings like the FX6. Now, if the new leaks are accurate, the Sony FX3 II looks to directly address those pain points while simultaneously pushing into performance territory that feels almost unreal for its class. Early reports say Sony will retain the compact, box-style form factor that made the original FX3 such a hit, but this time, active cooling is rumored to be integrated directly into the body. That means not only longer record times at demanding resolutions, but also more stability when shooting in hot environments or under pressure during extended productions. The chassis is also said to be redesigned with more robust materials to handle higher heat output from next-generation sensors. For filmmakers who rely on handheld mobility but still need professional-grade reliability, this update could be huge. And that's just the beginning. Connectivity also seems to be a major focus for Sony this time around. One of the most intriguing leaks suggests the FX3 II will include Wi-Fi 6E support. If true, this opens the door to a new era of wireless workflows, allowing filmmakers to transmit footage, control the camera remotely, or even stream directly in ways that were previously limited to larger, higher-end production systems. Imagine a small, lightweight cinema camera that's not just powerful but also seamlessly integrated into modern cloud-based production environments. This could be one of Sony's smartest moves in making the FX3 II appeal to independent creators, production houses, and even live event filmmakers. But the real star of these leaks is the sensor. According to multiple sources, the FX3 II is expected to feature a brand new 24-megapixel fully stacked sensor. What makes this exciting is that it reportedly uses dual-layer transistor technology. This cutting-edge approach allows each photo site on the sensor to not only capture light more efficiently, but also process data at lightning speeds simultaneously. In practice, this means vastly improved low-light performance, cleaner images at higher ISOs, and much faster readout speeds that eliminate the dreaded rolling shutter effect. Rolling shutter has long been one of the most frustrating issues for cinematographers, especially when capturing fast-moving subjects or executing quick pans. With a fully stacked sensor that can read all pixels simultaneously rather than line by line, the FX3 II could essentially solve this problem entirely. Combine that with the rumored triple native ISO, reportedly starting around ISO 800 and stretching up to a staggering 25,600, and you have what insiders are calling a night specialist camera. If this proves true, the FX3 II could outperform cameras costing two or three times as much when it comes to low-light cinematography, opening creative possibilities that were once reserved for elite productions with massive lighting budgets. Perhaps the most jaw-dropping part of the leaks centers on recording capabilities. The FX3 II is rumored to support full 6K open gate recording at up to 120 frames per second without any sensor crop. For those unfamiliar, open gate means the camera uses the entire sensor area rather than the cropped 16, 
9 portion typically used for video. This gives filmmakers maximum flexibility in post-production to reframe, punch in, or adapt footage for different aspect ratios, all while maintaining full resolution and field of view. Now add the fact that this can be done at 120 FPS, and suddenly you're talking about buttery smooth slow motion at cinema level image quality, all without compromise. It doesn't stop there. Rumors also point to oversampled 4K open gate recording derived from the full 6K capture. Oversampling means that the camera uses all the sensor data, then downscales it to create sharper, cleaner, and more detailed 4K video than traditional direct 4K capture. This would put the FX32 on par with much more expensive cinema cameras in terms of image fidelity. If Sony delivers on this front, the FX32 could become the go-to choice for anyone from indie filmmakers to YouTubers to professional cinematographers looking for a reliable B camera that doesn't sacrifice quality. Now, let's talk about timing and release. Registration documents and insider chatter suggest Sony is aiming for an announcement between September and November 2025, with cameras reaching the market before the holiday season. That would position it perfectly for filmmakers planning 2026 productions. However, some conflicting reports hint at possible delays that could push its availability into early 2026. Given the complexity of the rumored new sensor and the challenges of scaling up manufacturing for such advanced technology, a delay wouldn't be shocking. Still, whether it drops in late 2025 or early 2026, the FX32 is already generating more buzz than almost any other camera on the horizon. Then there's the elephant in the room, pricing. This is where things get fascinating. Traditionally, Sony has carefully positioned its cameras across tiers to avoid overlap. The FX3 was the entry point into Sony's cinema line with the FX6 and FX9 offering progressively more features and higher price points. But the leaks suggest that the FX3 II may land with specs that rival or even surpass the FX6, all while being priced aggressively lower. Some sources claim Sony could be targeting a sub-$4,000 price point. If that happens, the FX3 II won't just compete with other brands like Canon or Blackmagic, it could effectively make parts of Sony's own cinema line redundant. So what's the takeaway here? The Sony FX3 II isn't just another update, it's being positioned, at least in the leaks, as a camera that could completely redefine what creators expect from a compact cinema system. From its rumored triple ISO stack sensor to 6K open gate 120 FPS recording and advanced wireless workflow support, this camera could very well shake the foundation of the cinema market. The big question is whether Sony will really go through with it, and if they do, whether they're ready to deal with the shockwaves it will send through their own lineup and the industry as a whole.